Hi guys, welcome back to HAG Studios. Today we are at Ket's Organic Gourmet Farm. There is so much we want to share with you. This will actually be done in two parts, this week and the next. Kami Tucker, who has a wealth of information on the benefits of organic farming, will take us on a tour. He will also show us how we too can grow veggies and herbs in this healthy way. Welcome, Lady Faye, to Ketz Gourmet Farm, the only certified urban farm in Jamaica. Uh -huh. And today we're going to take you through what we do normally. Yes. And hopefully I'll be able to answer many of your questions. Okay, I sh I'm sure you're gonna be able to answer all. <laughs> I have that feeling. Thank so you. So guys, you see where we are at Good. Ketz Gourmet, Gourmet Farm. Farm. And here you do a lot of... We grow basically lettuces and herbs. And herbs, yeah. right. That's our speciality. Okay, so you know you're in for a treat. So yeah. stay with us. Uh, to you. We're going to start with what is called uh, Kalunga or the French marigold. Better for you, you call it uh, rosemary or marigold. 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 Mm -hmm. Now, this is a very medicinal herb. Okay. Um, in fact, it was taken to us by somebody who had a brain tumor and it was given to them to use. And they couldn't grow it and so he brought it here in Jamaica and gave it to us and we have been using it. We put this in every salad box that we make. Mm -hmm. And this you can eat. In fact, you put it on your salad and it really does something to the flavor. Is it very tangy? No, it's not. It's mm. more kind of a uh, pineapple flavory oh, kind let of me thing. Try it. And um, mm -hmm. it, it is really mm. great in your salad and it's packed with vitamin C. Mm -hmm. Really a great cancer fighter. So is it this this particular variety or this particular just variety? Any marigold? No, not any marigold. This, this particular... Kalunga um, one uh, is is the specific one. Okay. So we you go can... to mm -hmm. the what we call the king of the forest. This mm -hmm. bush, as they call it, mm -hmm. is one of the best antifungal plant there is in the world. Mm -hmm. I discovered this as a young man growing up mm -hmm. where I had liver spots all over my body mm -hmm. and what I did it came back and I start using this just by crushing it mm -hmm. and using it to rub, rub on the spot skin. and in a little time it will disappear. I have okay. discovered something more recently that if you have um, like infection like uh, anything to do with with any kind of a fungal problem uh -huh. You can use that and it will help. Okay. Like even the matter to do with athlete foot. Okay. It will take care of What's it. What's it called again? It is King of the Forest. Okay. Does it have a bloom at times? Oh, yes. A beautiful a very yellow bright bloom. orange bloom. Yeah. Okay. Not at this moment, but it does have it. Okay. okay. Here is your Jamaican thyme. Mm -hmm. um, everybody knows what the Jamaican thyme is all about. It is one of those things that flavors every pot. Yes, okay? that's right. Uh, that's right. Is, is this part of your watering yeah, system? Yeah, this is what we call the poor man's irrigation. Okay, so you have holes a hole in, in the it, bottom and you just and put it, it right here. here. And it drips, okay? Okay. Over here we have the sweet marjoram. Mm -hmm. And sweet marjoram is one of those great spice that wow uh, it is mm -hmm. really really fantastic yes okay yes and here I we know have, rosemary <laughs> here we have the tarragon 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 mm -hmm. again is a great herb it's great for your digestion mm -hmm. and if you have been to any of those um indians to uh, indian restaurant 
-hmm. you'll find them giving you at the coming walking out you get the grains Okay. Because it's good for your digestion. Of course, everybody oh. know your... Yes, your I know rosemary. rosemary. I don't and, know if it's everybody, yeah. but... <laughs> and of course, this is another of those great mints. Mm -hmm. uh, um, spearmint, that, that is extremely good. Oh, this is spearmint, this is spearmint. but we call it colon mint. Okay. Is that the right name as uh, well? Well, I, I know it as, as spearmint. Oh. And I know there are some places that actually use this to make their... Um, the drink that they make in Cuba quite a bit. Um, not sure. Tequila? Not tequila. No, that's not tequila. Um, when the name comes back, we'll I come will back. let you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is where we, what we call, it's our vermicompose. Mm -hmm. And this is where organic begins. Because as you know, organic, we don't spray with insecticides and pesticides mm -hmm. and these things. So Which what is we unhealthy. Do, we have what we call our vermicompose. The mm -hmm. vermicompose is made out of what we call red riddlers. Um, so we dump nothing around here. Everything we use from the kitchen and from the garden goes in here. Mm -hmm. And these red riddlers, there they are. Huh? Here, there they are. What they do, is to feed on these things and to break it down and when they when they finish break this down you have this mm -hmm. okay this is the compost. how do you get the red wrigglers in there we we buy them and put them in there oh you can get yeah. them to buy mm -hmm. we Where actually will sell, sell you some <laughs> oh you yeah. sell them as well as well okay, okay. so so they're really worms they are really worms but it's a particular variety of worms okay and so sometimes you see worms in your compost while you're digging don't destroy them yes because yes they are really, i know they are or even just down. in the regular That's ordinary right. they are soil breaking the stuff down yeah they know? serve a purpose so so when we do this we now catch a liquid that drains from it oh wow uh, Ooh. this is the liquid that drains from it mm -hmm. and this is extremely potent Mm -hmm. We're mixing this one part to eight part and we use this to spray our plants and we use that when we're planting to put in the hole. Okay. So you get a nice, rich, green, healthy product. Mm -hmm. And I noticed you had a lot of mangoes in this. Because that's what's in crop. You know, mm -hmm. that we're dropping. So whatever so you have, whatever you'd use. you have in the kitchen, mm -hmm. whatever you have the in the peels. gardens, mm -hmm. they, they, they particularly like, um, like coffee ground. They yes. love coffee ground. Okay. You know, anything to do with rotten fruits, everything. They, they only consume it when it's rot. And so then you, you add these, the papers. The papers, they love the shredded papers. Shredded paper. Yeah, the shredded papers. Okay. You just don't want to get in it the coated papers and things with a lot of ink. If you can avoid that, it certainly will help. Okay. okay. These vats are connected mm -hmm. because the important element is to be able to collect the juice that falls from it, what we call the vermi tea. Okay. And this is what we use to mix our fertilizer and to fertilize our right. plants. Right. Okay. So you also spray or is, is no. it insecticide as we well? We don't or use just... insecticides at our No, what I mean, at natural. All. Yes, we use this because right. it can also absorb through the leaves. Right. Okay. Okay. Now, you're on the section which is called Bat Boulevard, as you have seen from that sign down there. Mm -hmm. We are really in Stony Hill. And because we're in Stony Hill, we have a lot of stones. <laughs> so what we had to do is to find a way to grow in a good way. So all of that here, all the way down here, mm -hmm. you can walk with me. You will see we have utilized bats to grow our stuff. And what you're looking at here is the red lettuce. Oh, yeah. Okay? And you see how healthy Beautiful. they are? Beautiful, yeah. All the way down. And what we do, that they're packing today, we pack um, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. Mm -hmm. We don't take the lettuce out. You pick the leaves off. We cut the leaves around. The lower leaves. Or the lower leaves. Mm -hmm. So that we will get one plant serving us for maybe three, four weeks. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. When the plant bolts, we allow at least one to stay 
because it will seed. It will seed. Okay. And we can't buy the seeds that's in the store that are sprayed mm -hmm. because then it's not an organic product. Yes. So we generate our own seeds. Yes. And from that, we sow again and we have a ready crop. Oh, these are okay. beautiful. I take out a lot of baths these days because I do a lot of renovations. Please call me. Uh, no, we <laughs> yes. take out a lot of bathtubs. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, so, so I get baths because like I had one in the it's truck so this morning. It's so convenient. Somebody called me. Uh, hey, so come for a bath. bath. Uh, or my plumber will take out a bath and he brings it. Yes. You know, because that's a great way to do. Now, let me tell you something else, say, that we do. Mm -hmm. uh, people will try to grow in bath and say it doesn't work. It won't work except you are following a process. Yes. So when we grow in this soil, mm -hmm. yeah, and we have had grown maybe one or two, two crops mainly, mm -hmm. we take this earth out. Oh, and get new earth. We pour this earth in some bays we have down there, uh -huh. and we plant in that legume. Oh. Our particular choice is string beans. Okay. Because these would have used up the nitrogen out of the soil. Mm-hmm. For the legumes. Legume don't need pull it. back. The legume pull back the nitrogen to the soil. What? From the sky, it pulls it back. Oh, that's nice. Right. So we have a number of um, nitrogen fixers. Um, mm. The legumes, generally, we also have another plant called comfrey, which will do that. Yes, we I have remember another, comfrey. Peanut, which is excellent. For doing um, that. Yes. Um, uh, gungu is mm -hmm. one of the best nitrogen fixers, except that it's a long crop. Mm -hmm. But these are six week, eight week crop, which allows you to, to turn over things quickly. Yes. Okay? So um, I'm going to leave you. So, I'm going to, yeah, the, go in terms of the soil, mm -hmm. Where does this soil come from to put in here? Is it? This is the soil that comes back from the legume. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So once it is, once we don't grow string beans to eat, we grow string beans to replenish the soil. So once it blossoms, uh -huh. we cut that up. What? And work it back in Into the, soil. the soil. Okay. So and we that are always, enriches the soil. Uh, yeah, the, 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 the typical farmer does what is called crop rotation. Yes. Mm -hmm. We do soil rotation. Okay. 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 So that's the difference we're doing. We are moving soil, getting it um, replenished, put it back in. So that's the process. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Great. All right. As I mentioned to you earlier, Faye, mm -hmm. we do a salad that is in the supermarket. Now, this is an organic-based salad. Mm -hmm. And in that salad, we have um, carrots and beet, which is shredded. Mm -hmm. And we also have our homemade dressing, which is made from brog apple cider, mm -hmm. extra virgin olive oil, peppercorn, a little orange juice, and honey. Okay, that sounds good. The problem we had is that the Bureau of Standards said, you didn't grow those carrots. You didn't grow those beets. Oh. So for us to certify you, you have, you have to, to be growing, growing your own, your own beets. Beet. Okay, so here's so one here nice, we are, beautiful beet. Growing our own beet. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, so that we can not only meet the requirement of being certified, Mm -hmm. but guarantee what organic is all about. Yes. That what you're eating is good for you. Because a lot of us are eating things and we're eating vegetables. Yes, but it's filled but it's with grown also. and depleted soil. Mm -hmm. In fact, there was a test recently in the Ministry of Agriculture in the USA where they went to the archive and examined the material. And they, what it has shown is that the things, the, the information 40 years ago in terms of nutrition is less than half of what it is today. Although the product is so much bigger and prettier, it is lacking nutrient. Oh. Because it is being grown on depleted soil, mm -hmm. it is over fertilized and pesticides and what have you. Mm -hmm. And then, not only that, it imported. So by the time it gets to you, 
it is depleted because it's been stored for so long. Yes. You know? So what we do is ensure that we have our own product. Um, take this to them down there for me, darling. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah, so they will use up that today. They put it other thing and, and Okay, get it and you more. add quite a variety of lettuce to the to the lettuce package. Oh, as yes, well. we will see that. I will mm -hmm. What lettuce is this? This is romaine, and romaine, by way of information, is the most nutritious of lettuces. That oh, you really? Can have. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And then you have the little marigolds yes, there and as well. And of course, well. you come They're over here. They're supposed to ward off insects as it well. It also is a repellent for right. insects. And of mm. course, here we have the, the, the carrot. Huh? I don't know if I'll get anything on this I've one. I've never seen carrots so big. All right. There they are. The leaves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the carrot green is good for you, you know. Right, I imagine. Um, mm -hmm. you, you, so what? you put this in the salad as well? No, because okay. people don't appreciate it yet, but we yes. eat it here. Yes. Um, there are some societies, you know, that don't eat this. They, they eat, eat this. They eat that. <laughs> um, it's like but this is so pretty to yeah. add a little yeah, thing, it does. texture to your salads. Of course. and there are some, The younger ones. There are some societies uh -huh. that eat the pumpkin leaf but don't eat the pumpkin. Yes, I heard that recently. Yeah, the because pumpkin that pumpkin leaves. leaf is packed with vitamin A. If you have acne and bad skin, just start eating pumpkin leaves. Pumpkin leaves. And it is far more refined than, than the color loop. Okay. You know? So All right. that's where I'll take it down. Take You're it taking there. that yeah. one. We have one gentleman who if he can't get four pounds of kalaloo every week, he call me and tell me I'm starving. <laughs> but he doesn't go to the supermarket at all. He because he wants the organic. Every time. Organic and and if he one. buys it and it is too clean, he call me to find out, crumb it, this is organic. <laughs> because one of the things that we don't understand is that when the insect mm. bites into your leaf, mm -hmm. it's a good sign. It's a good sign. Because it's telling us, they will not eat if it's not good, you know. So once they eat into it, it's time for you to eat it. Yes, I know. That's yeah. why sometimes the leaves on the kalaloo are so perfect. Absolutely. Because they have been sprayed so much. Yes, and you can tell yes, that it's yes. no good. Yeah. So do you spray with anything? Well, you spray with the tea. I spray with this. But mm -hmm. yeah, there are things that you can use. Mm -hmm. There is the neem. Neem oil. Neem oil, which mm -hmm. is an organic product. Yes. There is what is called... Um, uh, there's another one which is called, but before I get back to that one, there are a number of other things you could use. The breadfruit leaf. Oh, really? Have you ever seen insect eating into breadfruit leaf? Never, Think about that. Never no. thought of it, really. So you could use that. You could get the neem bush itself. Yes. And break it down and use it to water mm -hmm. your plant or to spray your plant. Mm -hmm. You could use bitter wood. Mm -hmm. You could use pepper. Okay. All of these things are great organic products which will help. Right. Uh, then we have a number of things that we use, um, like your eggshell. Mm -hmm. We use that to take care of the insect and also had, have calcium to your mm -hmm. things. But it's because the, the creeping insects, the creeping like the slugs insect, and so on, because they that don't want to... Because their stomach, right, and they once they're caught, it, it, it. they drain and they oh, kill okay. them. Okay. okay. We also use banana, your ripe banana peel. Yes. And you break that down, we allow it to dry, we put it through the mill, and then oh. we add some Epsom salt to it. And great for your 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 carrots, okay. great for your tomatoes. Okay. okay. So a number of things like that you can use. So our viewers could really get a bathtub, an old bathtub or pans or big pots mm -hmm. and start doing this. Start doing home. things, if but they need to start doing it the right way. That's why we have a class. Uh -huh. And it's called How to Establish Your Own Organic Home Garden. Yes. It's a three-hour class. And we take them through the tour you're doing today. Uh -huh. And then they sit down to lecture. And then we sit down to sowing seeds. Okay. And they actually take a packet with seeds at home. And they keep reporting as to how things are going. Okay. Because you need to know what you're doing. Don't yes. give up on farming because you try something that never worked. Right. We have tried many things that never worked, but we still try it. <laughs> how yeah. long have you been doing this? Well, we have been doing this now for about 15 years. 15 years. But I've been growing things all my life. Uh-huh. Because 
because I am 76 years old. Wow. And my wife is just about almost the same age and we're on no medication. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah? No medication and part of the reason is that... And you, are you, you have been married for 55 years? Been married for 55 years. <laughs> so it helps yeah, that as well. 56 years. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. And she's still a happy wife. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, what I wanted to bring to your attention, Faye, is the, the large roof area that we have. Yes. We have thousands of square feet of roof. Mm -hmm. Now, it's a shame to have all of that and still to be running a bill of thirty, forty thousand dollars 40000 a month for water. Right. So what we have done is to start harvesting the water from the top section of this roof. Mm -hmm. It goes into the container that you will see on the other side. Mm -hmm. And we use a pump to pump it back up to this container up here. Okay, yes, yeah? yes. From which we now drip irrigate you do for the this drip. side. I saw the drip yeah? system. And then we drip from the other tank down there for the bottom section. Okay. So it has... It, it, so it, you, you have all the water you need Not for irrigation. all of it. I wish oh. I could say yes, but, but, but we have a quite lot a bit of, of it. it. Yes. Because mm -hmm. what a lot of us don't understand is that the chlorine Yes. It's not good for your plants. Yes. Uh -huh. So if you can get water that is not chlorinated, mm -hmm. then your plants are going to be so much yeah. better off. Us as gardeners know the difference between rainfall and watering Absolutely. every day with a, with a pipe. Yes, yes, <laughs> yeah. yes. What's going on here? Basically, we start the seeds in the seed bay, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. And then we transplant. But when we transplant them out here, like how it is hot now, yes. they need a chance to, to, to survive. Right. So what we do is to use these. And now that we're growing these, these are just shades yes. for the suckers that you can see. Yes. But it's giving them a chance to, to make it up. Okay. So once they have established themselves, we then, then remove, you these, remove the, 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 the shade, shade, giving them every chance to live. Wow. Okay. That's, that's interesting. That's yeah. Mm -hmm. What we have over here are a number of different potted plants, mm -hmm. which are all medicinal. Yes. Okay. Um, for argument's sake, here is a plant that I'd love to have you crush it and tell me what that is. And then I'm going to give you another leaf. One is Vix and one is Panadol. Uh -huh. You tell me which is which when you smell it. Hmm. I should know Vix. Yeah. Hmm. This is Vicks. All right, good. So the <laughs> other is your Panadol. And this okay. is Panadol. Right. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, so this goes into the making of Vicks? I really don't know if they have used it in it, but I know it does for us what Vicks would do. If you okay. get it onto your skin. Um, and over here we have a number of different um, plants. Um, one of the interesting plants is that baby over there, which is really the curry plant. Now, which it has nothing to do with curry per se, but in all Indian cooking, you will find... I thought that was a neem. Curry plant. No, this is a curry plant. Okay. Okay. And it's extremely good for your cooking. Okay. Okay. Um, this is a basil, but yes. this is a holy basil. Okay. Um, what does holy mean? Holy means, I believe it got its name from there because they used to use it for communion. Okay. 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 But it's a healthy <laughs> basil to use. I have really just started doing this. What is that? Um, this really is what is called a English kale, but in oh. Jamaica we call Injun tail. Yes. Oh, we used to use it for pepper pot, pepper, pepper pot, pot soup. soup. No, absolutely. I have not seen yes. that since I was a child. Yes. I don't know if I saw the plant, but I know they used to use it in pepper pot soup. Well, you know, we, mm. we nobody makes pepper pot soup yeah, anymore. They, but they use kalalu. They use kalalu. kalalu. What yes, I remember my mother used to say Indian kale. Indian kale, kale. Yeah. yes. Well, what happened? We start doing what is called a farm to plate experience here. Mm -hmm. And we're always looking for things that are unique yes. to the table. So like the last one we did, we, we, we did what was called a pumpkin soup, which was served from an actual pumpkin. 
you know. Oh, yeah. uh, and so we, we, we put the engine tail in because we want to use it as one of our, the soups that yeah. we're going to be, be Is it doing. related to the cocoa? cocoa? You know, I've had, that question I've been asked of me many yes, times. I really the, don't know. The bottom looks a yeah. little bit like cocoa it looks and like the it, top looks like yeah. a creeper plant. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So a number of different ones are over here. There's another um, basil, which is the the, the purple the, one, the purple one, mm -hmm. really, which is, which is really um, a black opal basil, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So uh, I mean, I, I I could use up more of your time. I then. think this is this is the one here. That is a that, oh, that's a purple. That's it. Yeah, yeah. the black opal basil. Uh huh. This this is your black opal. Right. Yeah. Mm hmm. And How does this compare to the one behind you? Is the one behind you the original basil? No, the original basil, good question you ask, uh -huh. is what is called a tea basil. No, okay. you just this rub this and smell it. This is the one that's growing in the country. Ah, they used to it. call basil. Yeah, you smell it. Oh. Isn't this the one you knew? Yes, yes. yes. This is the original basil. Okay. okay. Great, great question. You have good questions. Yes. I see you're doing turmeric. Turmeric. In pots, in small pots. Well, you know, one of the experiments, we like to experiment with things before yes. we put them on the market. Uh -huh. And I read this article that talks about growing ginger and turmeric in your living room. Okay, so, so because this would be a nice it last plant. Year. <laughs> and we were amazed from this little patch here, we had over 20 pounds of turmeric growing yes. in captivity. <laughs> so now, again, like I said, we want to prove in the class, there is no reason not to grow. That's right. To grow and anywhere. you know, since you said growing indoors, so this could actually it be a actually house can plant. It be grown inside. Yes. Yeah, and this yes. will look good in a, in a pot, in a but corner. Lovely, now. lovely. And Beautiful. this is not an extremely large pot. No, that's And, and we got very, very good pot. production from that. You know? Okay. Yeah. Over I will here. try. I will try that. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. People can't believe that lettuce comes in different colors, but they do. Yes. And I love a salad with a uh, with different colors. Different lettuce. colors. It, it picks it up, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Um, so so we tell people that you can put colors, and it it, it really change the complexion mm -hmm. of your salad. Mm -hmm. If you put a little piece of things like your um your basil, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. uh, another plant that I encourage people to use is a plant which is called clover. Because clover is packed with, mm -hmm. with nutrients. So here again, we have a whole lot of different colors. But this is like the lettuce. This, is, on, a red, red, uh, this is a red lettuce. Yeah. Bath Boulevard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This one is the Rashida red. Rash uh, right. And Rashida. down here, we have the red salad bowl, which again, another red. It's a different but red. A different, different flavor okay. red. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Wow. And over there you have the Ashley, which is another color. Yeah. That's this red as well. This yeah. is the Ashley. Yes. And yeah. what is this? This is also Ashley, just a different color? That's a, a, no, it's a different variety completely. This is, okay. th this is called Red Salad Bowl. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. A number of them, yeah. And, okay. and see what is happening here as I spoke to you about it. Look here. Oh, this one is now seeding. Seeding, and you can see what is happening here. Yes, the seeds are it, dropping. dropping. Just no, you on take this, mm -hmm. and I'm not too sure we're going to be able to. Uh, you, there yes, you are. there are seeds. There are seeds. Mm -hmm. Now these, now these seeds are. Uh purely organic. Yes. If you get a product, you see, Faye, mm -hmm. and you're not too sure if the seeds were good, you need to allow that seed to go through this process for at least three times. Meaning so to make words, it organic. Yeah. So if you buy one of those packets, yes. you grow you it have to go three, three generations. times, yes. allow it to seed like right. this, uh -huh. and then it will become, it become purely organic. organic. Yeah. Three yeah. times, okay. But this is the danger we have. The Ministry of um, Agriculture has given us a hard time mm -hmm. in bringing in seeds because they said it's not sprayed and it's a damage to a crop or what have you. But mm -hmm. we can't afford to sow a seed 
that is not an organic product. Are you now growing your own all the seeds, all the seeds that you we need? Use, we do. Oh, we do good. generate them ourselves. Good. All of them. And it doesn't really take long for this no, it to doesn't. grow. No, it doesn't. Yes. It doesn't at all. Yeah. All right, let's go. This is our Great Lake. Yeah, another big, beautiful head over here. Huh? Mm, beautiful. Yeah. Uh, but these look like they're ready to be reaped. Yeah, man. They're, they're, so you'll reap these like we'll, this week. With this some week, of the leaves at the bottom mm -hmm. and leave the top yeah, leaves. leaves. They're and huge just leaves. Going, huge leaves. Yeah. Huge yeah. leaves. Yeah. What is this one? This and I, the Rashida red I showed you. Oh, it's you. the same Rashida And this one red. is the, the Ashley. Ashley. So you have both of them there. Oh, okay. Sometimes. One of the things we do with this farm to plate experience mm -hmm. is allow people to make their own salads. Yes. So you come to the tent, you have all of these things, and then we ask you what leaves you want. And we okay. cut the leaves off for you, wash it, put it on your plate. Uh -huh. it, 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 too many boxes to take if we don't have more than one mm -hmm. in a box. So we particularly do a, a generation of, of, her, of plants so that when you get to make your own salad, you can do it. Oh, that's yeah. nice. Yeah. Um, speaking of boxes, yes. the, what is this really? Because this looks like something you recycled. Yeah, these are nothing more than up, um, what they call grape boxes. Mm -hmm. And what we have done is to collect them. Now, it's amazing, these boxes can done in a minute, but it can last a lifetime. It all depends on how you lift it mm -hmm. because they are foam. Yes. So we have had them lasting us a long time because we teach our gardeners how to move the boxes. Yes. And you see, we have a whole lot and of And you kind of reinforce it because yeah, you put We have done the reinforcement. Of the, mm -hmm. It's not really a reinforcement. Mm -hmm. For your lettuce to grow, you need to have at least six inches of depth for the root. Oh. So this would not give you enough depth. Okay. So we I have see. extended it. Six inches. Yes. So but that you have enough space for your root expansion. That's good Because to know. if the root is not expanding, the top cannot expand. Or well, maybe that's why my lettuce haven't been doing so well, well as yours. Yeah, well, we just never know. <laughs> we just never know. Come on. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 